What is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video we'll be talking about everything in Linux is a file. So in this video I'll be giving you a brief demo of how everything in a file is sorry everything in a Linux is a file. So let me hop on to my terminal in the Google Cloud platform and if I were to type in ls you can see that I have readme crowdshell.txt file. Now I have another tab open so if I were to go to slash proc now that I have changed my directory, let's type in python3. Now I have successfully run python3 and let me just open fp is equal to open readme cloudshell.txt. Now before I tell you what this what I'm trying to do, I would like to first tell you about something called a file pointer. Uh, so a file pointer is something that points to a file. So again as the name suggests file pointer so it is nothing but just a reference to a memory location where this file will actually be stored so as you can see i have a method called open and i have supplied in uh, the name of the file which is the read cloud shell dot text and it is in the read mode and fp stands for its file pointer so let me just type in pid of python 3 as you can see my process id is double one double three which is of that of python so if i were to type in ls you can see that there are a bunch of process ids so these are all the process ids including that of my python 3 so cd1133 so if i were to type in tag alps you can see that there are a bunch of files here including something called a file directory which is fd so if i were to type in fd so whenever you come across FD, you'll always find this. I'm sorry about this. Uh, I think what I did here was I have already typed in, but let me just show it to you anyway. So as you can see, you will always find 0, 1, 2. So 0 stands for standard input, 1 for output and 2 for error. So you'll always find these. But there's something interesting over here, which is this file over here. And it is referenced as three so if i were to type in three you can see that i can read the entire content of that file which is readme cloud shell dot text now why did this happen but before that let me just fp dot close and if i were to type in ls you can see that now that thing vanishes so this gives us a uh, you know so this provides us a firm evidence that everything that you do here is something is in a file so if you open up python it will open up a process id so this was the process id of python and when you op try to open anything here it will be referenced here in the dog in the within the process so here in the previous even even if i try to do it again so you can see it as this so as you can see again i can view it with the help of just typing in cat3 so this cat this 3 is a symbolic link to the file which is stored in my home directory now how can this prove to be harmful so this can be harmful for example if you open up a file but if you forget to close it an attacker could easily go to the file system uh, sorry this proc and this directory and just open up the file he will be given direct access to it so this is the thing with file pointers and if why it is necessary to close those file pointers now for example try to uh, guess uh, try to you know grasp this with the help of a scenario for example you are the root user and this file contains the credentials of this, uh, credentials so what you do is you try to open the credentials you view it but you forgot to close it now if you had forgotten to close it what uh, what a user could do is if he has access to the proc directory and this he could easily go in here and he could view your shadow file so that is uh, sorry he could view you this file here so this is something that is not recommended at all so that that is the reason why in most of the documents you will be provided fp.open and fp.close together so this is something that you need to remind yourself of before 
because this is one of the safe coding practices so now in the next video i'll be trying to explain it to you with the help of uh, cts challenge so thank you guys this is it for the video